really think about. Like, yo, I be in my car going through breakthroughs sometimes. Go walk into the bathroom at work. I be going. I be going through breakthroughs. I be like, hold up, fuck, for real. I just write shit down. Now. I be forgetting sometimes. Yeah, but I mean, most of my topics I have to do with, like, like my faith walk. Let's talk about that, man. So it's like, Let's run that talk. Come on, bro. No, I mean like. Let's run that. Like for example, like, like, like I was telling you lately, it's like the idea of of legacy. For me, legacy is not just because. Okay, so let me give you the concept of how I view faith, right? Mm-hmm. I believe that there's a God who created everything, right? And so He's breathed into everything. Like that, everything in life has the evidence of God, mm-hmm. right? So therefore, I think that you can always, if you walk with that mindset, you can always have a God moment at every, any given moment. Yeah. Because any given moment is still God's moment, right? Because mm-hmm. He breathed into it, right, right, right? right? And so, you know, like most of my things is like, have to do with this idea of, of creating something that is lasting, right? Because God is, I mean, God's eternal. So, therefore, He's in the business of making things that last, uh-huh. right? Like, there's no benefit to Him making temporary things because He's an eternal God. Right. So then, and my whole idea is like, you know, how can I resemble that in earth, like in this moment where I'm at, mm-hmm. right? Not thinking about some like super miraculous thing that I can accomplish, but just what can I do? And it's this idea of building legacies, this idea of, of being something that prevails long after I'm gone. Mm-hmm. So I think that, you know, if you really do believe that God breathed into everything, then I think, you know, every moment in your life matters. Mm-hmm. So in every moment of life, I have to choose to be intentional. And when I choose to be intentional, then what... The interactions I have, the moments I share, the family I build, you know, the family I have, the friends I have, stuff like that, all those things can lead a lasting impact long as I'm gone. Yes. So it forces me to think about my life more critically. Like, why am I throwing away my life on Netflix? Why am I throwing away my life on, like, I don't know, in dumb things, you know? Because I'm not saying dumb things like hanging out with friends. It's actually one of the most valuable things we can do. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like, things that will not have any sort of real value. Right, right, right. And so that is what I've been pushing lately. It's like, I waste a lot of time. Like, at work, it's so easy for you to throw away your eight hours. Mm-hmm. But if you're intentional, you can redeem. Like, I heard somebody say this week, redeem your time in your car. Right? I like that phrase, redeem the time. Yeah. Like, even at work, you can redeem the time. Because there's times I'm working and I'm listening to a podcast. Mm-hmm. Or I'm, I'm working and I'm pondering on ideas. Or I'm working on goals. Or I'm planning on, eco- on like, economic ventures. Like, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. And it's like, because I believe that everything I do matters. Yeah. Because I believe that God breathed into everything I do. Mm-hmm. And so the things that I'm passionate about, things I'm thinking about, those are things that maybe God is confronting me in areas that I need to improve. Yeah. And I think that that is how I see faith. It's like, it's not just this thing that I do in church or this thing that I do when I speak to people about God. Like I mentioned Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yeah. But even in the things that I'm not mentioning Jesus. You're a gangster though. You just threw that thing. Like, no, but even in those moments where I'm not necessarily because you know I work, I can't just be like, hello, God bless you. You know, like yeah. just working, whatever. You know, even in those moments you can reflect your beliefs, you can reflect your intentionality. Yeah. And I think that's important. Like, the way I approach my day, the way I approach uh any relationship, any mm-hmm. kind con- of conversation, I think is important. Because I believe that everything stems from this idea that God breathed into everything. Yeah. You know, um, I got two things out of that. So I think one of them is one of those points for me that I got out of this right now, what you just said is that I feel like that's why me and the guys that have around me, we're getting along so well because we're not comfortable. You get me? Like, it's almost like what you just said is, you know, every moment in my life has to be intentional. That means that you can't, you don't have time to be comfortable. You don't have time to really just sit back and, you yeah. know, let, sh- let stuff happen, right? You need to really be thinking all the time about what my next move is going to be. How can I be better? How can I grow? And I like that because I found like, you know, the people that like to be comfortable, I'm not too comfortable around anymore. Yeah. Like it, it, it's, it's like this um this natural detachment that's starting to happen. Yeah, because complacency is not, is not sitting well with you. It's not because I'm not in a complacent state mm-hmm. right now. Like, I'm not trying to be just regular i'm not trying to be just or, or not regular that's a wrong that's a wrong word but i mean like i'm not just trying to like be comfortable you get me i want to continue to push continue to you know like mm-hmm. try to be better you know, whatever it is so that's one thing that i just got from what you just said that that i feel like that's why the dynamic is so like you know i guess electric and it's and it's there you know and the second thing is that you said god breathed air into everything and i think that you know 
that's something that's like it's powerful but that the regular person can't understand well i think none of us can understand that <laughs> but it, but if you think about it you can have more understanding for it and and the life that you've lived you know in church and in, in the walk of faith that you've taken you get me more than like just some regular person because you know we're not and by regular person i mean somebody who hasn't really been in that path mm -hmm. that's what i mean right um just because it's like hard to see like just hard to see that, you know, like, we talked about how, like, it's almost like you have to go through religion to get to God nowadays, mm -hmm. right? It's almost like you yeah, have yeah. to go through mm -hmm. this church or this channel to mm -hmm. get to God when, in reality, God is available to everybody, right? Mm -hmm. You praying on your own is, that's it. You in a relationship mm -hmm. with God. You know what I mean? I think that people try to, like, box people in way too much and put too much pressure on people. Like, oh, you have to be doing this. Yeah, a certain to, standard. Yeah. So I think it's hard for people to realize that. But I think that's something important. Like, even if... You don't want to look at it, you know, like for anybody who doesn't want to look at it like, oh, faith walk or whatever. It's still a kind of walk, if you really think about it, the way you're going beyond your com your comfortable point. You know I mean, that's why like every time I realize like, you know, you, you bring like, you know, this faith walk or God up. I realize how in reality, even if you want to take God away from everything from life, if, if you do, right, let's just say hypothetically. It's hard to do that because the teachings that we have from you know the Bible mm -hmm. or whatever still stand true to life itself. Mm -hmm. You get me? About having to strive and having to work hard and having to be, like you said, conscious and you know purposeful mm -hmm. about the move you make in order to be better. You get me? So mm -hmm. it's hard to like wash that out. And, and I would say, you know, I wouldn't even go as far as saying that even if you don't subscribe to a faith, you're still in a faith walk. Right, okay. Because we all have faith on something or someone. Right, right. Like, for example, True. you know, a lot of us, you know, our faith is in money, right? It's yeah. in the, you know, like, if I can generate the money, then I can have the things I want and the things I need. Uh -huh. And that gives me my security. Yeah. Right? A lot of us have, have our faith in, in friendships and relationships, uh -huh. right? It's like the people around me make me the person I am and they're going to hold me to the seasons of yeah, life, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of us have our faith in family, uh -huh. right? It's like that is the value we, 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 we like... I guess anchor our souls in, yeah. right? A lot of us are faith in our own abilities. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, this is what I know I can accomplish. I, I was made for more, yeah. right? You know, you hear all the time that like, someone who became something out of nothing is a person that believes that they were made for more. Yeah. That's a faith walk because they, yeah, yeah. through the valley, through the like mountaintops, through the struggles, through the obstacles, they believed in something, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. I think that the idea of faith walk, you know, should never be taken about a, a religion. It should always be taken about this idea that everybody is in a faith walk. But maybe your, your faith, and my faith differ, and maybe my faith is something different than yours is. Yeah. But I think we all believe in something. Yeah, that's what's up. I, I like that. Like, it's, it's actually true. I didn't really look at it like that. Um, but that's true, though. Like, you know, you believe in yourself. You believe in something. You know, you push towards it, right? That, I think that, that, that's, really, that's really, you know, what kind of makes somebody go over what they were, like, not meant to be. But that's what makes somebody who they were meant to be, right? When you decide, I'm going to go over this threshold of... Or like I truly believe in this, that I'm gonna dive mm -hmm. in all the way. And even when when it looks like it's like going yeah. down, I'm still gonna you get me like dive into it. Yeah. yeah, so I think that's dope, man. Like, thinking about it's like damn, that makes perfect sense. Then you know, like I feel like that that connection though gets so lost with like everyday life that like, we're just talking about, right? Yeah. Like, just everyday life that that believing in something, you know, you start to lose that. Like you know, from when you're a kid till now, whatever yeah. something happens, you start to lose that. That real belief that you once had. You it's because it's so easy to become normalized. To just think like the world wants you to think. Like like corporate America wants you to think. Like yeah. you know, like the whole idea of uh, having, you know, 2.5 children and a $50,000 income and a minivan, right? Like yeah. it's so easy to buy into something like that. Or it's so easy to buy into, oh, you know, I'll, I'll be a rapper. Or I'll be an athlete. Or I'll be a model. Or I'll be an Instagram famous person. Like uh -huh. it's so easy to buy into that that we don't start to be self-aware and question you know ourselves yeah you know because even in whatever your walk of life is whatever your journey is you should still ponder you should still question you still wonder like you know what can i do with this why am i doing this what do i even like this do i still love this do i yeah, you know yeah. am i still encouraging this? do i still believe in what i'm preaching like yeah. you know like we need to take that moment to breathe yeah and i think that that is that like that is one thing that we lose all the time is the moment of, of self-realization and self-awareness mm -hmm. because we just fall into routines. Yep. And that's the same danger with religion. 
people stop questioning, people stop wondering, people start doubting. And so you'll find somebody just tell them what to do, and they'll do it. Yeah. And then that's when you have like, the biggest massacres, and you have the biggest tragics. It's because people stop thinking. Yeah. People just started listening to somebody else. No, man, like, in your life, wonder, question. Like, I think that's important. For sure. Yeah, man, you know, that 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 is, like, I think you brought a great point there, you know? There's, um, there's this loss for having just real conversation mm -hmm. nowadays. You get me? There's this real loss. Like, like, I find, like, some people just don't like having real conversations. You get me? It's like, why are we talking about life? Why? Are we, you get me? So, it's true. Like, I, I've pondered in life a, a few people like that already. You get me? Like, at work. In personal life like there really is some people like that i just don't don't really want to have those kind of conversations and that's what i mean by i feel like those are the kind of people that just don't want to continue to grow yeah you know I mean? they just want to continue on like the same path yeah. of like oh i just want to meet this goal i just want to meet that goal you know what I mean? and i think that there's nothing wrong with wanting to meet goals and nothing like that but i think that you know we forget to literally live life mm. when we're too focused on just trying to meet a goal you know what i mean it's like you know, you might, like like I said before, right? Like, you might, you know, be going to school and you think that your life is going to start when you buy that car and buy that house and get married. That That's the thing your life's going to start. You know, and all that time that you're working towards these things, you're not really living your life. When in reality, that's the only moments that you really have. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then in that moment, you evolve as a person and you mature and the things that you maybe wanted at one point, you don't want anymore. You know what I mean? You start to kind of mm -hmm. grow out of that. You know what I mean? So, those things are... Those things are important, man. It's like the question. You have me yeah. question. You know, I, I, have, like, and, I, and I think you said is that I think you need to learn to redeem those. Like you know, one thing you always say, and I like to mess with you, but it's it's beautiful and it's important. It's don't live for Friday, uh -huh. right? I love to mess with you because I, I, I find it funny all the time. But it is a beautiful thing. Is don't live for the two weekend. days. Yeah. You have five days before those two days. Redeem that Monday. Yeah. Redeem that Tuesday, redeem that Wednesday, that Thursday, and that Friday. Life isn't lived in 48 hours. Mm -hmm. Life is lived every moment you choose to say, I want to live today. Exactly. You know, so mm -hmm. I think that when you start seeing every moment as a real life moment, as a real important moment, then you'll see that you can enjoy life to the fullest. And you can even embrace those dark moments in your life because you're seeing yourself walking through them. Not just stuck in them. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's important. That you say you see yourself live through them, live through them, dude. How many people? You know, you know, people. Th 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 this is what saddens me the most, right? Like I'll be in the office and people say, "Oh, thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Like, everybody's so happy that it's Friday." And I understand the excitement. I do. I get it. You not. You know, you get to finally leave work mm -hmm. and you know whatever. That brings, that makes me feel some type of way because it's like, bro, like, this is your life. Like, you get me? We forget that. Like, I feel like we really do forget that. And, and it's, and I understand that everybody has different things in life. You get mm -hmm. me? Like, we could speak on this in the manner because the position that we are in life. But not everybody has that luxury. Like, yeah. Some people have to, you know, work a certain kind of job because, you know, they have kids and stuff like that. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. The thing that, that I think hurts me the most is that that people don't believe in something anymore. So after they come eight hours working this shitty job that they hate, they don't go home and try to, you know, do something else. You know what I'm saying? Do something that makes you happy. Do something that's going to that's gonna liven you up. You get me? You just go home and you just want to go to sleep and watch, I don't know, your novelas and eat popcorn. I don't know. Whatever it is that you do, you know? And I think that, that that's that's the mistake. Like you know, we forget. Like it's like, oh, now I'm old now. It's like, no, you're still alive. Like yo, as long as you're still alive, you gotta continue to go. You get me? That whole, oh, I'm old now. I'm too old for this. Is that's a mindset, man? Honestly, you get me? All that's honestly a mindset. Like you know, think about it. Even if you if you're like 70 years old and you wanna be clubbing with 20 year olds, sure you might look ridiculous to everybody. But what matters is how you feel. You get me? What makes you happy, right? So. That, that I think that that's the thing. Like we we just stopped believing in in something. You get me? And we just started like I guess I have to follow this, and I guess I have to do that. You know what I mean? That's how we say like it's those people that when they decide to do something out of the norm, you're gonna get one of two responses. If you fail, you're gonna get the I told you so. You should have not done that. And when you make it, be like, damn, that's crazy, bro. Like I remember you wanted to do that so bad, and 
look, man, you made it, bro. You get me? Because in reality, people don't know. Like, people just want to talk crap. You get me? People just want to just say mm -hmm. anything. You get me? Like, they don't really, like, like, they don't like, oh, no, man, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. You're just talking. You haven't sat down and really analyzed, should that person really do that? It's easier to bash it than to build. Exactly. So, I mean, I, I think that what you said here, man, is, is a perfect, like, like, trail for people to start believing in something. You get me? Like, like it, and it's not about always, you know, that, that whatever it is that you believe is about making money or nothing like that. So it's just about what makes you happy. You get me? Yeah. If you can work eight hours and then come back home and playing with your kids is what makes you happy, do that. Do that more often. You get me? If coming home and baking cookies is what you love to do, come home and do that more often. Do the things that you love. Do the things that you enjoy. You get me? Like I tell you all the time, what I love, I love being with my friends. I love going to the movies. What I do every every weekend, I freaking go to the movies. I hang out with my friends. <laughs> that happens. That one of the two is gonna happen. You get me? But that's what that's what brings me joy. That's yeah. what I like because in the midst of being with friends, we get to have conversations. We get to have moments. You get me? That are irreplaceable. You get me? Mm -hmm. I can't have those moments on social media, just scrolling mm -hmm. through. You get me? I can't have those moments just laying on my bed. And you get me? Like so, I think that that people need to start realizing that yo, it's never too late. Whether you're six years old right now or you're ten years old right now, you can start doing something ASAP. You get me? And believing in something. You know yeah, what I mean? I think I would like the only thing I could add to that is, you know, regardless of whatever season you're in life, you know, you mentioned ten or seven or whatever, just learn to rediscover life. Like that. Like life That's is dope. such a beautiful thing that you can't take for granted. Yeah. Like you know, the moments that are gone are gone. The moments that aren't here are here. Yeah. What you have is the now, the here. So, you know, learn to rediscover the joy in motherhood, the joy in fatherhood, the joy in brotherhood, the joy in community, the joy in just eating, the joy in just running, yeah, the joy in just reading and mm -hmm. just painting. Whatever your joy used to be, learn to rediscover it. Mm -hmm. Because when it does, what happens is that we got so caught up in things that don't actually matter mm -hmm. that we lost the wonder of life. Yeah. And so life is passing us by. And so it's like, you know, you, you feel like you're losing your time and you feel like you're miserable and you feel like this, but you, you just, all you have to do is learn to rediscover, you know, the things you were passionate about, the things that used to drive you, the things that used to wake you up in the morning. Like, why did you even start that job in the first place? Yeah. You know, like, why did you even start to do that in the first place? Why did you stop this in the first place? Mm -hmm. You know, and when you learn to rediscover that, you'll find that you have something more to look forward to than just to get out of five o'clock. Yeah, I like that, man. This, it, it falls right back to what you said, the redemption of time. It's mm -hmm. this exact same concept. I like that, man. So, you know, um, I think you covered that pretty well, man. And let's let's try to do better to keep this short, too. Yeah, yeah dude, we're, we're taking it long. long. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. We get carried away. Yeah, man, we do. But um, once again, though, thank y'all for watching. You guys know we appreciate y'all from the utmost of the bottom of his heart. and the utmost from the bottom. <laughs> utmost from the bottom. Like the highest part of the bottom. <laughs> Like, you're still not at the bottom, bottom, bottom. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but from the bottom of his heart, from the bottom of whatever I have, <laughs> we appreciate y'all. We love y'all, man.